we can talk about Mark Whipple for a second. Uh, Mark Whipple, of course, the Pitt offense coordinator, the former UMass head coach, he went to Pitt and completely restructured their entire offensive philosophy. He got Pat Narduzzi to do some things that, that Narduzzi has never done in his career. Like, Narduzzi is Big Ten guy. He's defense first, run the ball, don't do anything crazy, and they were flinging the rock all over the place this year. Kenny Pickett went from almost undraftable to a first-round, you know, a potential first-round draft pick and a Heisman finalist this year. Like, he has really developed that quarterback position. Uh, Mark Whipple is 64 years old, and there was some talk about him maybe deciding to hang it up, etc., uh, but now he has resigned from Pitt, and he is headed to Nebraska. Uh, give me your initial thoughts on on him going over to the Cornhuskers with, the, with Scott Frost. I thought it was a really strange move that he would just leave uh, and, and go to Scott Frost. That's, that's the big part. He's leaving a stable coach who's going nowhere at all. And he's leaving to go coach for a guy – that's probably coaching for his job this coming year. We all assume and agree with that. And that doesn't make sense to me because you know if Scott gets fired, everybody's getting fired with him. So So, you're going to be looking for another job next year. Let me tell you this. I think that Whipple is just about done with the game, right? I think he's just about done, and Nebraska is going to pay him significantly more than Pitt. So this is just a payday. With, this is a retirement check here. Is yeah. If Scott gets fired, I'm going to get paid by bought out. So they're probably going to sign into a three year deal. And, yeah, three and year deal. Get, you know, yeah. and, and probably a million and a half a year, something crazy like that, because I think he was making seven, eight hundred thousand a year at Pitt. Um, so double his salary. And on top of that, uh, you, if you're going to start over anyway, because Kenny Pickett has been his quarterback the entire time, and they have not really developed anybody underneath him. Uh, in times that Pickett has not played, they have not had anybody really step up. So he was going to have to start over from scratch anyway at Pitt. Uh, you go over to Nebraska, you got a little bit of time at least. If you're going to start over, why not start over somewhere where you're making double the money, right? Well, and, and I don't if think it you're going to have time. Well, if it doesn't That's work out, though. Right, if, if it doesn't work out, then... You get to go home with your your buyout money, and you're retired anyway. So, so why? What would it matter? It, it seems that one makes a little bit more sense to me uh, than the Jim Knowles thing. But of course, once I figured out the actual money behind the Jim Knowles thing, that that made all the sense in the world. Like, absolutely, do that. Um, but yeah, the Whipple thing. Like, I just I think he's getting close to just being done, and that's that's why I think he took this one. I think this is a payday, and if you're going to start over anyway. Start over at the place that's got more money. I mean, that's the true statement. That's, man, I don't know. It just, while while that makes sense, like going to work every day for a year is going to suck at this new place, right? Like every day the heat is going to be on. You're going to have to be answering questions or your team, even if it's not you, your team is constantly being criticized and scrutinized. And these are just things that you wouldn't have dealt with at Pitt because you just had the best season that Pitt's had in a long, long time. Well, true, true. But remember, like, coming into this season, Pat Narduzzi was kind of on the hot seat. There was talk about him being fired after this season if they did not have a, a pretty good year, and they wildly exceeded expectations. A 10-win okay, year at Pitt. But is, you know this year he's not on the hot seat, right? Yeah, no, he's he's definitely not on the hot seat this okay. year. All right, well, then that's what we're talking about. Is you're leaving one job for a job that you're definitely on the hot seat? And that's uh, that's like, true. No questions asked. And I'm I'm looking back through his history. I mean, he started coaching in 1980. Um, let's see, he was at St. Lawrence. He went to Union. Then he went to Brown. He was with the Arizona Wranglers. I mean, he's been all over the place up in the uh, the Northeast and. Uh, and then he, he left UMass as the head coach from 1998 through 2003, and he was the quarterback coach for the Steelers. He went to the Eagles. He went to Miami, Florida. He went to the Browns as a quarterback's coach, uh, and then he went back to UMass, and, and then he ends up at Pitt and now back over at Nebraska. I, I really think that this is, this is the jackpot at the end of a career. 
Like, I think he's getting close to just being done with this thing. So I, that's that's my read on it. That's my guess. Uh, obviously, we'll see how it plays out. But I don't know that Scott Frost could have gotten a, a better OC candidate. Uh, do you feel like there was anybody better out there for him to uh, to go and be able to grab? Probably not. But just because it's good for Nebraska doesn't mean it's good for him. I, I, you, you're not wrong. You're not wrong about that. So, yeah, I'm uh, I'm curious to see how it's going to work out. I, I think you could not have asked for a better hire if you were in Nebraska. If you're Mark Whipple, again, it makes sense. If this is going to be the last leg uh, of your career, go get the payday. Go go get paid and uh, and enjoy it while you can. Enjoy it while you can. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.